hello guys welcome to civil concept and in this video i will tell you how to design a steer case guys this video is very very important for you if you are a civil engineer okay so i will tell you uh, both in 2d uh, view and also in 3d view okay here i have created uh, 2d view in autocad for you and also here i have created 3d view for you in sketchup okay so i will uh, make you understand full uh, concept on uh, design of steer case okay so let's start here this is the plan view of the steer case plan view means what uh, it is the top view of steer case okay let us see here you can see if we see this steer case from the upper side then it will look like this okay this this view and this view are same okay but if we see uh, from side view of the staircase then it will look like this okay let us see here if we uh, if you see uh, in this view from side view then it will look like this okay okay so uh, this is plan view and this is a section view okay and i will tell you later that uh, how to create it now let us uh, uh, move toward how to design a staircase if we are given only the height of the floor okay uh, we are only given the height of one floor to another floor now we have to design a staircase so let's let us see first of all uh, some things to know before designing the staircase okay guys be patient and watch this video till end to full concept of designing staircase okay so here thing uh, things to know first of all width of staircase should be how much 2.5 feet to 3.5 feet okay for residential building and here we will design a residential building and uh, uh, up to 6 feet to 7 feet for commercial building like factory hospital etc okay but we here we will only design the staircase for residential building so we can take the width of a stair between this value and what is its width of a staircase width of staircase let us see in this uh, 3d picture width of staircase is this this width, this is known as width of staircase okay now height of riser uh, should be taken 6 inch to 8 inch okay according to the building 6 inch to 8 inch and what is riser let us see here this is the height of riser this this height is known as riser okay you can also see in this picture this uh, uh, height is from one step to another floor uh, another step is known as riser height of riser okay and length of tread length of tread uh, should be how much 10 inch to 12 inch and what is tread tread is this portion is known as tread okay this is known as tread and its width should be how much 10 inch to 12 inch okay and guys these are these values are for uh, residential as well as commercial building uh, you can put uh, any of the, uh, between this value okay and uh, width of landing should be how much but what is landing here i am telling you in 3d view this is known as landing here you can see this is known as landing okay if we go from one floor to another floor then there is a uh, uh, there is a slab like a structure at the middle of the uh, flight this is known as landing so its uh, width should be how much 3 feet to how much 5 feet okay now the gap between the stair should be how much 6 inch here we will use 6 inch but it is not necessary to put gap between the staircase okay it depends on the width of the stairs if, let us see what is the gap between the stair uh, here you can see this is the gap okay this distance is known as gap and it is not necessary if this width is less but if if its width is more then we can put gap between this okay and we are putting here six inch as a gap okay now the final point you have to know for the design of a staircase would be number of tread is equals to number of riser minus one this is the formula you have to remember okay this is uh, riser this is this height is known as riser this is known as riser and this is known as tread and both combination make or uh, steps okay this is known as steps and one thing guys here this uh, this angle of the steer from the horizontal should not be greater than 25 degree to 42 degree okay and uh, it is uh, recommended that to uh, put the uh, angle 
from the horizontal about 25 to 30 okay now let us move to other calculation how to design a staircase so guys here we will move step by step in first step uh, we have given what floor height okay floor height means what from ground level to the first floor okay this height is given how much 10 feet okay and now we will divide it by mid uh, landing okay which will give us 5 feet from the ground okay from here to here we will get 5 feet and from here to here we will get how much 5 feet now we have only given this value and we have to design according to this value so step number two uh, we will take a riser of 6 inch okay uh, i have told you that how much should be length of the riser and width of the tread okay so i am taking here 6 inch you can also take uh, 7 inch 5 inch okay and i am taking here tread width of tread how much 12 inch and you can also take 10 inch okay so 6 inch is equals to 0 0.5 feet because 12 inch 12 inch make how much 1 feet okay so Trade I am taking here 12 inch which is equals to 1 bit. Now in step number 3 we will go to calculation. So in calculation we will do what? We have to first of all uh, find the number of riser. And number of riser, riser how will we calculate? Riser means what? This. This is known as riser. Okay. And we have the mid height is how much? 5 feet. So if we divide 5 feet by 1 riser then it will give us total number of riser isn't it okay so number of riser is equals to 5 feet divided by 0 0.5 feet okay uh, height of this uh, midland divided by height of one riser and which will give us 10 numbers so we will get how much 10 number of riser let us see count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so total number of riser we got how much 10 now number of trade and i have already told you that the formula to calculate the trade is total number of riser minus 1 so number of riser minus 1 will give us 10 which we have calculated here 10 minus 1 will give us how much 9 number so let us see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, sorry 9 okay and one of the riser which will mix in the landing so we have to subtract one from the number of riser to get the number of trade okay so guys we have calculated number of riser and number of trade now we will calculate total horizontal distance from here to here up to here we will we will only calculate the distance from here to here uh, now okay so uh, horizontal distance will be how much number of trade okay length of this trade this trade length of this trade multiply number of trade it means how many uh, trade we have got we have got how much nine trade one two three four five six eight uh, up to nine and if we multiply it with its length then we will get what total distance uh, up to here okay from here to here so after multiplying number of trade with length of trade we will get total how much nine feet okay so you can see here it is nine feet is a dimension okay i have uh, created it in in autocad which is the real dimension okay and here you can see this is the riser and whose uh, height is six inch here uh, six inch okay and its width is how much one feet okay and here the landing is how much three feet we have to provide landing ourselves according to the space okay so here i have taken only three feet okay so we have calculated here horizontal distance this horizontal distance we have calculated now guys we have calculated the total number of riser up to this distance up to the midland so from here to here we will calculate in the same process okay as this flight okay so total number of riser we will get how much 10 plus 10 we will get how much 20 number okay and total number of trade will be how much 20 minus 2 because we have to subtract one from this and one from this so we will get how much total number of trade is equals to 18 okay if we uh, count then we will get how much 18 number of trade okay total width of 
here the total width of staircase okay this staircase total width will be how much three feet for one uh, width of the stair and three feet for another width of stair and there is gap between this two stair which is six inch okay so total will be how much three feet this three feet three feet three feet plus six inch between this stair which will give us six feet six inch the total width of the staircase okay and the total length of stair will be how much nine feet okay nine feet up to here and three feet for the landing and total will make how much 12 feet okay guys uh, it is not necessary to put gap between this stair okay for this we have to uh, increase the width of this stair which is not ne not necessary so uh, i have provided six inch gap between these stairs okay now here the total area required for staircase will be how much 12 feet here this total 12 feet and 6 inch uh, 6 feet 6 inch for this so guys for design of staircase we required how much area we required 12 feet by 6 feet 6 inch okay so now let us see in 3d view uh, how the staircase look like if we uh, design the staircase like this okay how much there is 0 0.5 feet okay it is correct and uh, from here to here uh, length of uh, trade is how much one feet which is correct okay now uh, we have to take distance from here to here how much we had calculated nine feet which is correct okay and now let us see what is the length of landing from here to here is how much three feet okay which is correct okay so guys in 3d view we have uh, got these types of staircase if we uh, calculate perfectly according to this way we only require the height between these two floor and we can easily calculate we can easily design a staircase the length of trade the uh, the length of a, uh, riser and uh, landing etc very easily so in this way we can design a staircase so guys if this video remains uh, uh, helpful for you then please like this video and subscribe my channel for more important video thank you oh,